I'm just bouncing this jig along the bottom, still working that quarter ounce jig head with the soft plastic. Just trying to cover all bases here. Danny's doing the same thing. Billy's got the spoon working. Just making long casts into these sand holes and bouncing that jig right along the bottom. Real important that when you're picking your jig heads, you find one with a good hook in it. It's just like anything else in fishing, you know, if you, you can buy some cheap jig heads, but if you get that big redfish on and the hook isn't sturdy, he'll straighten the hook out on you quick. And you think about it, that's your point of contact with the fish and that's where you definitely don't want to scrim. Yeah, it's really a good idea to make sure you get some really good jig heads, good hooks. That way you don't put a lot of time and effort into catching that fish or getting that fish on and then lose him over something as silly as an extra dollar for a good jig head or a good hook. Coming to you. Coming hot. Coming in hot. All in these rocks right here, boy. Good job, Michael. That's all Danny Allen there. All you gotta do is work the jig. Get jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it. Boy, they are pretty. Look, at, are look how gold they are. Aren't they pretty? They are beautiful. Come here, buddy. I got you. Calm, uh, calm down, calm down now. I got you. Stand there we there. go. Oh, boy. Look, it just fell right out. That's how it does. Nice, beautiful fish. Pretty little fish. Let that guy go. It's the only way I can get a fish is to touch Mike or Danny, so. I'm not proud.